Kotcher, a Marconi Fellow, and am pleased to congratulate Peter Rostocki on being selected as a 2020 Marconi Society Young Scholar for his innovative work in quantum photonics. Peter, can you tell me about the problems you've been working on in quantum optics? Yeah, thank you very much, Paul. I'm honored to be recognized as a Paul Barron Young Scholar. Uh, very thankful to my mentors and coworkers, and I appreciate your time in talking with me today. Regarding our work, physical systems that give access to the phenomena of quantum physics are important to a variety of emerging applications, including quantum communications, where two parties can establish secure cryptographic keys for quantum random number generation, metrology and sensing, as well as quantum information processing. These are all topics of very active study by a broad community of researchers. Photons, the particles of light, are a particularly robust platform that can encode and even distribute quantum information over thousands of kilometers. However, in quantum photonics, the most commonly used setups in physics laboratories can be at odds with trends demanding lower footprints, portability, and infrastructure compatibility. Many make use of bulk lasers and fragile components. Can you tell me about the implementations and solutions you've developed? Uh, we focused on lowering the footprint necessary to prepare complex quantum states. And for this, we made use of structures on photonic chips, which can be prepared using the same fabrication as standard chips. Our photons can easily couple and be distributed in standard optical fiber. We use encoding in typical communications degrees of freedom, like frequency and time. And thus, we can manipulate and perform operations on our quantum states using standard off-the-shelf telecom devices like modulators and filters. Where do you see this work going in the future? In the near term, I'm hoping that the impact of our work is increased accessibility and uh, digital inclusivity of quantum photonics, that devices for complex quantum states can be available for study and for prototyping at lower entry costs, available to everyone, and that hopefully quantum photonics research becomes less confined to just national laboratories and the like. I also hope to see innovations in classical telecommunications to continue impacting quantum photonics as it has in our case and vice versa. In the longer term, I hope to see quantum resources being widely distributed and available in uh, fiber infrastructure. Peter, thank you so much for speaking with me today and congratulations again on being selected as a 2020 Marconi Young Scholar. Thank you.